Hello everyone. This is a video on how to use PowerPoint Presenter when showing slides at church. The advantage of using Presenter is that the operator can see both the current slide and the next slide that's coming up. To run uh, the um, Presenter, we need to go through some very specific steps. The first step is to turn on the projector. We need to have the projector on, otherwise presenter gets confused and Microsoft thinks it's running, but we can't see it run. So that projector needs to be turned on so presenter will connect correctly. The second thing we would do is turn on the laptop. The next step is to start NDI screen capture. NDI is the software that exchanges video across our network. It's becoming an industry standard. It's free and it's very robust. So we're very happy to be using it. So you'll want to start that program up. The next step is to start the PowerPoint presentation and then move it into presenter mode. And lastly, we need to run over and check vMix because there's a little bit of video alignment that we need to do. After you have the projector up and running, you start the laptop. And as you start the laptop, you'll see the vMix screen cap uh, icon come up settings zero there. It's the program starting up and you'll also see that it's trying to log on to the Microsoft account. We don't really need either of these so you would go and just simply X out of those programs so they are no longer running. The next step is to start up the screen capture program. To do that we'll first click on the shortcut that shows on the bottom left of the desktop. That will bring up this uh, screen that says, Welcome to NDI Tools. The one we want is Screen Capture, which is shown there top right in the red box. Double click on that one. It will not start a program that you can see. The program runs in the background but you should get a message in the bottom right area shown in that red box that says you are now an NDI source on the network. Okay, now I switched desktops on you because I forgot a screenshot or two when I was down at church, but it's going to work the same. At the bottom in the toolbar, there is going to be a little up arrow. And on the church computer, you may need to take the cursor and kind of run it up and down to get that toolbar to appear. But once it appears and you click on that up caret, you're going to get all these programs that are kind of out here in the background. And you'll see here's our NDI program and it's in that box that's kind of upper right at about one o'clock from the caret box. So that means that our NDI is program and that's how we're going to configure. So to configure, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that NDI box. Once you have right clicked on that little NDI icon, you're going to get a menu pop up and you're going to select capture settings. And you're going to make sure that you click both region of interest and configure ROI. You may have to go through this process twice. It may close on you when you make that selection. So you just have to go through twice, but it's important to make sure that both those options have been checked. So here we are, we're back to the right desktop now. And you'll see that a frame has popped up called NDI region of interest. This is the area 
a video that's going to be sent out over the local area network. The frame itself is completely transparent. It doesn't get in the way of anything. So if we were to double click on that little uh, Explorer icon that's uh, up there on the top right, uh, it would just go ahead and trigger. So the frame isn't getting in the way of anything at all. It's just defining the video that's going to be transmitted. The next thing to do is start up the PowerPoint that you want to display. So you can see that here we are in the PowerPoint and we've got this uh, NDI region of interest frame just kind of sitting in the middle of everything. It's not hurting anything. It's not getting in your way other than that it's sitting there. Do note the uh, red box that's kind of on the middle right hand side up in the menu bar. Use presenter view. That's what we want to do. Use the presenter view. That should default to being clicked on, but if it's not default clicked on, you need to click it on. There's also a way to get there from the PowerPoint itself, but the best thing to do is make sure that's checked. And of course, then we have the slideshow and we're going to say start from the beginning. So our PowerPoint has now started and it is in presenter view. On the left hand side in the big frame, we can see the slide that's going to be going out uh, both to the screen and to the broadcast that says tongues of fire. And then on the right hand side in the top, we get a little preview of the next slide. And of course, that's handy because now there's no surprises as you're going through the slide deck. So what you need to do then is take that NDI region of interest frame and you need to just make sure that it uh, just encircles that presentation slide. In this case, tongues of fire. So the gray bar at the top, the bottom of that gray bar at the top is just touching the top of the tongues of fire frame. And then of course the bar across the bottom is just right on the bottom part of the frame. And the same thing is true with the left and the right. And it kind of rubber bands. You just sort of click and drag uh, the uh, rectangle there until you get the frame of interest defined. So the question is, did it work? Well, we can go over to the vMix machine and take a look. Now, I've pointed out that sometimes these things don't align quite right, and that's the way that you draw the frame. And of course, you're kind of estimating a little bit there. And so inside that red rectangle, you can see that the music is slightly longer than the slightly lower than the uh, scene of the pulpit. So there's a little bit of a misalignment there. It's not real visible, but you want to clean that up. So what you have to do is you have to go back over to the presentation computer and then I would move the frame that was capturing the music up just a little bit and shrink that region of interest from the bottom up. Since the music is white, it is one of the best alignment slides that you can use. So it helps to kind of page forward to where you have the music and it is in such contrast that you'll be able to see very quickly whether you're out of alignment. This one isn't very noticeable, but sometimes they can be noticeable. This happens to be preset 10 when we show the um, music and uh, um, you know uh, the uh, or I'm sorry the scripture and the uh, the reader, but you'll also want to do preset number nine as well because those are the two critical presets that have this multi view that that uses what's going on in the laptop and what's going on live in the sanctuary. Okay, so here we are. We're all aligned and we're ready to go. For the service. Uh, in some cases, it is possible for the vMix operator to actually do a little uh, a Y 
axis cropping. So they can actually help you align that a little bit since they can change the uh, uh, the amount of um, scene that's coming out, in this case, uh, on the left-hand side, which is coming from the camera. But normally, we shouldn't have to do that. I'm not sure that's really a, a good practice to be doing that a whole lot. So there we are. There's how we turn on NDI Desktop. Uh, this has been a good ad for us. The slide presenter uh, no longer has uh, surprises as the slides are coming through. And it actually saves us a lot of time when we're preparing uh, the vMix sheets for the service. So we appreciate everybody's efforts in helping make this work.